Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Franny and I am one half of the Indecisive Readers. Today I am starting another kind of themed vlog. So this is going to be two of my anticipated reads from the year. I can't remember all of them if we're being honest. But um, two I'm really excited about are Malice by Heather Water and In the Ravenous Dark by A.M. Strickland. I do actually have copies of both of them through NetGalley, which I am thrilled about. I was hoping to read them last month, but like life got in the way. So I'm going to read them this month. Malice comes out in 12 days. And In the Ravenous Dark, I think, comes out at the end of, like, May, so there's less of a rush to read that, but I do want to read it soon. So because I'm planning on reading both of them this month, I thought I'd vlog it and include my reactions. I haven't really started them, I mean, I read two chapters of Malice last night as I was falling asleep, but I thought I'd kind of jump in and say, hi, this is what I'm doing, and I will see you soon. Hi all, I've just remembered that I am technically vlogging Malice, and as I've got over halfway, I should probably check back in. Um, where am I? Yeah. I don't want to say stuff hasn't happened, but like, she's met Aurora, and they've started like trying to break the curse, so it's like starting to get a bit exciting. It's not like a high stakes book. It's almost a bit political, which is quite interesting. I like the relationship between Aurora and Alice. I thought at first it was going a bit quick, but actually I suppose because of what the main element of Aurora's story is, it actually can't develop that quickly. So um, that's quite nice to see. What my favorite thing so far which is really interesting is it's originally a queendom but the kings have taken over because the queens have just decided to sit back and do nothing and I think that's a really interesting take on queendoms and about um queens and princesses because then it makes Aurora a more interesting character it's not just she's thrust into this position she like wants to take it for herself and so I think that's quite nice I like the magic system I like how kind of different it is and how different things develop and I like the different characters like um the different graces they are complicated one of the ones Rose I didn't like her at first and I still don't think you're necessarily meant to like her but she's more interesting and then there's Laurel who's also interesting and I'm interested to see like the dynamics between the graces and Alice and yeah I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes because everyone's saying that the end is really dramatic so I'm a little bit worried about that, but um, I'd quite like to finish it. I don't think I'll finish it tonight, but maybe tomorrow or Tuesday is my aim. Because after that, I have another kind of retelling fantasy that turned up yesterday. And I'd quite like to read that before the release date, which is also next Tuesday. So that is my plan. So I've not read a lot more since I last checked in, but I thought I'd check in because I do actually have like some specific thoughts. Um, so something that is happening like plot wise means that Alice is kind of dealing with objects and so all of a sudden last night I was like oh I wonder if like that means the object um <laughs> yeah I wondered if that meant the object that is obviously the big object in Sleeping Beauty Max. so I wondered if that's going to come into play soon and then it made me wonder how the book is going to be split because obviously the big event in Sleeping Beauty is the kind of curse and then the curse being broken and so I assume maybe that's what's gonna kind of be the split point but it does it is interesting because I think when I went into it I assumed it was just going to be like a um, standalone and so the fact it's not does make it a bit more like intriguing but it has got really interesting because I think I mentioned yesterday that Rose did I mention Rose I think so is quite a I don't want to say complex because that's just like such a basic way of explaining it but like quite a interesting character in that at the start she was so I don't want to say evil but like proper mean girl and I think how her character has started to develop and how her kind of insecurities have come out and how now her and Alice are kind of interacting with and to each other I think has become interesting so I'm looking forward to seeing where that relationship if it does continue to develop where else it goes and then also my final point I had a final point and now I've forgotten it what was my final point 
Well, the only final point I've written is cake. I like the fact that there's cake. Um, so yeah, it's still got about an hour and a half left. Um, I probably won't finish it tonight because I'm reading another book at the same time and one of them needs to be like finished so I can write a review tomorrow and it'll probably end up being that one. But I'm not sure. So yeah, that's where we are. I'm really excited to finish it. I think it's going to be very interesting. I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm glad I am because this was obviously one of my anticipated reads. So that's going well. Hi everyone, so I'm checking in the next day to say I have now finished Malice, which is really exciting. I finished it this morning and honestly the last like hour, which was about the last kind of 20%, that seems like a lot, 15% maybe was intense, like so much happened and it was just very exciting. Like obviously I said yesterday, all the day before, I can't remember, the days have blurred into each other. Um, I said I wasn't quite sure where it was going to end. And whilst kind of plot-wise, in the traditional story, it did end where I kind of expected it to, but it didn't end how I expected it to, if that makes sense. Like, the events that led up to it, the characters that did betraying, well, did drama. I didn't expect that to happen with and so that was like really interesting and really intense and I enjoyed the ending so so much um I don't know if I've got a lot more to add generally because I've been checking in more regularly than I normally would but it was just it was really really interesting I enjoyed it so much I think I'm gonna rate it four stars I have a weird like kind of relationship with things that are that I predict a five stars. I think sometimes when I predict things are five stars, I almost get, I almost want them to be too much. And so they don't always reach it, at least initially. Sometimes they kind of catch up and like, I'll think about them a lot. And this may be where this will go. So I might check back in next week and think I've changed my, my mood on that. But I really enjoyed it. I liked the magic system in it. I liked the characters. I liked the relationships in it both kind of romantic and friendships and kind of almost like parent child relationships and child teacher there were lots of interesting relationships in it and then yeah the magic just the world building was so good i really enjoyed it um i'm not going to read my next one straight away i don't think i'm going to be long because i'm looking at my tbr for this month and i don't think i have too many ebooks and so I'm probably going to read one or two kind of old net galley ones maybe. And then I think I'm going to pick up my next one because I'm excited to read it and I'm less excited about the other two. So maybe I'll just kind of intersperse ones I'm not excited about with ones I am. So yeah, I will check in with you soon. Hi everyone, so it's been about two weeks since I last checked in. I'm checking in now because I have started the next one, but before I do check in with that, I want to talk about Malice because I now have a finished copy. I'm very excited to have it because I really enjoyed this book. I just noticed how pretty the kind of green smoke, I suppose, on the back is. That's just very nice. Um, I think I said when I logged out, what's the word, checked out, that I rated it four stars. I have now bumped it up to about four and a half just because some things really stuck with me after I finished it. I really enjoyed how feminism was handled. And I think just generally the book was handled really well. I think I was just kind of like, at the time I was like, I need to check in and this is my immediate thought. But yeah, now I think I'm at four and a half stars, which I'm very pleased with because I enjoyed it very much and I'm really looking forward to the next one coming out. I also just, yeah, I think it's beautiful. Um, so the other one that I am reading for this video is In the Ravenous Start by A.M. Strickland. I started this maybe Sunday night? I can't really remember. I think it was Sunday night. Over the weekend I started it just because I wasn't quite in the mood for any of my others and I thought I want to read this at some point. I'm really excited to read it so I'm going to start it and... <sighs> is started off on such a high so many books i've been reading recently have kind of a lot of build up and you spend like four chapters just kind of getting to know the characters getting to know the world getting to know just general life before the events of the book start and this one just starts straight away like the drama is there literally from the prologue and i just think that's great it's like sucked me in straight away and it's made me really really excited to read it 
I like the characters so far. I think the main character, Rovan, I think that's how you say her name, is really interesting. I like how kind of unapologetic she is and I'm excited to see her story. It's a very chunky book though. I have, I mean, I haven't read a lot. I started work last week and so I'm kind of like re-getting used to my reading routine. Although I didn't used to read a lot during the day, I might like read in the evening until like one in the morning. <laughs> and now because I have to start work at half eight, I obviously can't do that or I can do it, but I just won't get any sleep. And so, yeah, it's just kind of getting used to things again. So hopefully I will start reading again soon. I mean, I am reading a bit, but like, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm really excited to read it. It started off on a great foot and I have high expectations for it. Oh, okay. Just like this bit. Um, hi everyone. So it's been a few days since I first checked in at read this book and I feel like I'm about a third of the way through. I didn't read a lot yesterday just because I want to say I was busy, but I can't really remember. But yeah, about a third of the way through, stuff has happened. And so I'm interested to see now where that takes off. I'm also particularly interested in the romance, which is unusual. I think because I am interested in the enemies to lovers romance between the main character and the dead man. And it feels unusual to root for, I don't want to say a straight relationship, because the character is queer, the character is pansexual, but you know what I mean? Like, there have been so few kind of representations of non-straight relationships, it feels weird to kind of want the straight one, but I suppose that shows all aspects of kind of the sexuality. But I'm really enjoying it so far, it continues to be really rich and really interesting, and the characters are so interesting. I'm re I am really genuinely quite interested in the dynamic between the main character and the dead man. So I'm looking forward to seeing where that will go. I've just made myself a cup of tea and everyone is out now. So I might just like sit down for half an hour and do a bit more reading. Hi everyone. So it has been an embarrassingly long time since I checked in. We are now like over halfway through May. We're like basically at the end of May. And um, I finished this, yeah, like three, four weeks ago. I've been meaning to check in with this for ages, but I just kept forgetting. And now here we are. Um, so yeah, I have obviously finished this. I really, really enjoyed it. I rated it five stars. I rated it five stars from like the beginning. It was just one of those books that I just knew I was going to like just kind of straight away. I really liked the kind of magic system and the history of the world and also that the characters didn't know everything from the start, but also that no one knew everything from the start. Like you were learning stuff as you went along and I thought that was really interesting. I really enjoyed the relationships in this. I was saying I was really looking forward to seeing how the kind of enemies to lovers kind of played out. And I think that was really handled well. And also how it kind of then played into the female female romance worked well. I really like Jaffa, the non-binary, pan-romantic, asexual character. They were my favourite. I love them so much. But I also really like Rovan. I think Rovan was a really interesting character because she wasn't a likeable character at the start. She was like quite prickly, quite sarcastic, very selfish. And then as the book went on, that kind of changed a bit. Um, and yeah, this is actually the Illumicrate copy, so I'm really pleased to have like a special edition of one of my favourite books of the year. Um, it's got that down the edges, and then, uh, I've got stuff there. And then the end pages are like the characters, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited to have this copy, and I'm just going to keep shouting about it. So here are two of my most anticipated books of the year. I'm really glad both of them kind of lived up to expectations. This was about four and a half stars in the end. This was five stars and they were both fantastic. I would definitely recommend them both to you. And if you do read them, let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed them or if you pick them up on my recommendation. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in another video. Bye.